Hello, I'm Miss Evans at Arthur Ashe Elementary School. This is my fifth grade class, and today we're continuing our conversation about mass and matter. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Okay, so yesterday, somebody raise your hand and tell me what we discovered about matter. Dylan, give me something. Y'all hear what he said? Even if the state of matter changes, we agree with that? Okay. Anybody else from yesterday? Somebody tell me what happened with our ice cubes. Christopher? They melted when they got put in the water. Can somebody add on to that? Brooklyn? Okay, we weighed our water before the ice cubes melted, and we weighed our water after the ice cubes melted, and the mass, okay, and then we did something else. We took sugar cubes. Somebody tell me what we did with those, Xavier. We did, but before that, what was our process? Jenny? Okay. Okay. So we took a cup of water, we added two solid sugar cubes, and then we waited. Then we. Oh, what was that fancy word for when the sugar cubes were mixed into? They dissolved. Okay, and then we waited again, and the mass increased. It stayed the same. So yesterday, when we left off, guys, do you remember how we measured a hundred milliliters of water? Okay, I just took it out of the freezer. Can you confirm? What state of matter is that in? A solid. A solid. A solid. So our liquid water that we measured, does anybody remember how much the mass was of our liquid water? Go back to your slide. 125 what? Grams. And today we're going to weigh it again. Okay? So our question on the board says, does the mass of liquid water change when it's frozen into solid ice. Yesterday we filled our cup up with 100 milliliters of water. We measured and recorded the mass of the cup of water and then yesterday before Miss Evans went home she put it in the freezer. So now our liquid has changed into a solid. solid. So today we're going to measure and record the mass of the cup of ice frozen. But before we do that, let's talk about variables. Somebody raise your hand and tell me the life hack I told you for independent variable yesterday. Dewan, do you remember? You had your hand up. And you changed your mind. Do you remember? There was a life hack for the word independent variable. God bless you. <gasps> Jacinia? The I! Why is the I important? Ooh, now I see a couple more hands. Messiah? I, independent variable, that's what I change, right? So in this experience, investigation, what is the one thing that I, we changed? Take 10 seconds, talk at your table, Ready, set, go. And what did you talk about at your table? What's my independent variable? Kinley? Did y'all hear what she said? Say it louder. Phases of matter. Phases of matter. Agree? Yes. Somebody tell me why. Taylor. Because first we have 
cup into the freezer, which way it turned. So I changed the phase of matter. Drag and drop it if you haven't already. All right, let's get down. Let's skip dependent variable. I want to talk about constants. Somebody refresh my memory. What is a constant? Dylan? Something in an investigation that stays the same. So in this investigation, somebody raise your hand. Give me something that stayed the same. Shariah? Did I change the cup I used? No. Okay, that's a constant. Ooh, I love the hands going up. Ethan? The scale. Did I change my scale? No. Okay. Okay. Somebody that. Go ahead. Did I change the amount of water? No. Anything else that I did not change, Justin? The temperature where? In the freezer. Did, did I go mess with the, the workroom freezer? Y'all don't know if I did or didn't, but I promise I didn't. Okay. So the temperature in the freezer. Now, we said yesterday our dependent variable depends on the outcome of what we change. So what were we looking for to see what changed? The mass, okay? Very good. So mass is my dependent variable. Drag and drop it if you have not. Any questions right here? Go to slide 18, friends. And we are going to... It is... Kinley. Did y'all hear what Kinley said? The ice is starting to do what? That means, ooh, talk me through it. Talk, ooh, raise your hand. Talk me through it. Help me understand. Give me something to work with, friend. The thermal energy is increasing. Oh, he was a lot of good words. Y'all heard what he said? Repeat it again. The thermal energy is increasing. And what is happening as a result? The, the phase of my matter is also... So we better weigh this thing while it's still a solid, right? All right, let's do it. Again, how, how many grams? Look at your data chart. You graphed it yesterday. 125. So today when I stick it on the scale... Let's see, this is my 100 mark, and that line at the bottom would be 25. Can you confirm? See the line at the bottom? Yeah. So how many grams do I have, Kinley? Like, this 100? Well, nope, that's my 100 line right there. But we're oh. past it. You see the line at the bottom? So the line, each tick mark at the bottom is 25. So one, and then the bottom would be 25. The mass of my solid cup of ice is 125 grams. So what I need you to do, you should already have this part filled in from yesterday. The liquid water was 125 grams. The solid ice was also 125 grams. Then over here, guys, I need you to graph it. Yesterday, you brought this bar up. Uh-oh. Where do I stop? Do I stop at 120? Where do I stop? A little bit higher than, right? Now, my solid ice, and this should be shaded, needs to match, right? If yours looks like mine, give me a thumbs up. 
Okay, so what did we learn today? Oh, even if the face changes? All right. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did excellent today. Thank you for joining our classroom today. We hope you enjoyed our lesson on Mass and Matter. We are all stars!